let's get a little bit uncomfortable here. Let's look at some vintage fancy dress costumes, shall we? G'day everyone, so today we are going to be talking about vintage fancy dress outfits. In particular, that from Weldon's fancy dress books. There were some that were for ladies and men, and some that were just for ladies, and some that were made for children. I actually have in my possession, thanks to my grandmother, um, I inherited these <laughs> pieces of paper that were once in book form. Um, I believe from what I can tell there's at least two kind of books that this has come from which date back to the 1920s, so late 1920s and into the 1930s. Today's video is titled Vintage Fancy Dress. The good, the bad and the quirky because that is certainly the case with these images. Just as a little bit of a warning, please be aware that there will be some images that are racially and culturally inappropriate. And I respect if you do not want to see this, that's absolutely fine. I will see you in the next video. For those who do want to watch, please know that I do not condone these images at all. I think they are horrendous. Um, but for the purpose of this video and to show the truth in regards to what was being printed, I feel obliged to show you some of these images. The short of it is that we can't gloss over it because otherwise we miss the opportunity to learn something. Whew, right, that was a bit heavy. Let's move on. So we're gonna start off with the good. The good images are things that I would consider to be safe and sweet and cute. Things that we may very well see in some format today, just through the lens of yester era. So these are things like history or historical costuming, which is quite funny when you think about it, that it's coming from the 1920s, 1930s kind of view take of that particular era. I think that's, I think that's funny. Anyway, here are some examples. So we have Madame Pompadour. We have Medieval Page. Old English and David Copperfield. Chelsea China, which is what I'm going to be doing for historical Halloween 2020. And of course, the dandy of the Middle Ages. And here's a page of Tudor inspired costumes. And lastly, 14th century lady and a piper. Next, we move on to the more standard costumes like fairy sunshine, night fairy and blue butterfly, Bluebell, Wasp and Fairy Queen, Man from Mars, <laughs> I think this is so funny, The Bat, so dramatic, Black Cat, Harlequin Folly, and The Sun. So the next one is still in the good category, but like part of me wants to put it in the bad potential category, but then when you see the bad, you'll realize why I put it in the good. Um, and what it is, is that it's more patriotic type of, I suppose, costumes. So we're going to start off with Miss England and US Junior. We also have Miss USA and Oh Boy, which I believe is meant to be French. Right, so with the good over, we move to the bad. This is probably going to be the most uncomfortable point in my YouTube career. So please bear with me. These next costumes are ones that are wrong. Like just, just wrong. There's no other way of saying it. It is wrong. Um, these are racially and culturally inappropriate. If you would like to see the rest of the video, but you don't want to see these images, then here is the timestamp of when we will get on to the quirky. So I will see you then. For those who do want to stick around and you do want to have a bit of a look at these costumes, let's please keep the comments below as respectful as possible. Please do that with me. Let's start off. So first off, let's start with the culturally inappropriate costumes, such as Red Indian and Indian Squaw. There's also the Eastern Page, Chinese Man, Eastern Lady or Fatima, and lastly, Russian Costume. The next one I think is going to hit a few people and just make people cringe inside and out. 
and that is to do with black facing so we have gollywog now the last one that i want to talk about is ideologies and there were two costumes in here which were um had some ideologies as part of the costuming which just mm. the first one it's it's in a way a bit of a shame because at the time that this was published it meant something else and that is good luck so the good luck obviously has swastikas all over it um you know that is an appropriation of a different symbol to what the nazi party used it for but it now holds a different meaning and the last image is one that uh is really not great and it's a kkk party member i really don't understand how people even back then thought that that would be okay okay so welcome back i had to step away for a little bit after that last segment but the bad is now completed so i want to move on to the much more light-hearted and enjoyable one which is the quirky this is the weird this is the wacky this is the stuff that makes us go what but in a good way so firstly we have the category of advertisements now this is really really interesting to me because there is the concept that you can be a walking billboard for a product and that is good take for example the new health and the mustard club idle smile wins popularity mclean's and okay sauce eat more fruit and yardley's perfume and of course ovaltine what i love about this kind of subcategory of like quirky costumes is the fact that in these magazines the same companies were also putting advertisements in the magazines and i think that's awesome i think it's great i love the fact that they were like hey here's our product and why did you be our mascot as well but you know buy the costume to be our mascot so the next subcategory I find hilarious and these are ones that we still see in today's society just obviously different because times have changed but that is those of a political nature such as the man with the nose also buy British goods I love the fact that on the spear in this there is the Australian flag modern license which compares a marriage license to a fishing license irish free state which when you think about the time period that this book was published this would have been interesting and lastly something very out of date the silk tax and lastly we have a category which i could not figure out a subcategory this is just the plain weird such as the umbrella paint box powder puff silhouette pillar box gold tipped cigarette complete with a smoke hat the house that jack built and a window the baby a man's costume <laughs> glad eye and now for the final three in full colored glorious detail the froth blower aviation and the parcel post anyway guys thank you so much for watching i hope that you enjoyed that video maybe the word enjoy is not the correct word to use for the middle section of this video but i hope that it was an opportunity to learn uh, if you would like to leave a comment if you want to express yourself please do so in the comments below I would ask that we keep it civil we keep it intellectual um, any kind of offensive or nasty comments I will be deleting please keep that in mind but other than that thank you all so much for watching please hit that subscribe button if you would like to see more of my content and I'll see you all next time bye